Hello, everyone, and welcome to Once Upon a Time in Black History. I am your host, Tamara Shiloh, author, educator, and owner of the Multicultural Bookstore in Richmond, California, and partner with my friend Carol Santiago with the Multicultural Bookstore Las Vegas on the historic west side. My podcast can be heard on Anchor, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. So check out our other podcasts by visiting our website at onceuponatimeinblackhistory.com. All right, today we're going to talk home security system. Yep, and invented by a woman and her husband. Marie Van Britten Brown and her husband Albert created an early closed circuit television system to be used to be used for home monitoring. That security system was the forerunner of all advanced home security technology in use today. Marie Van Britten Brown was born in 1922 and raised in Jamaica, Queens. She first became a nurse who, like most nurses, did not work regular nine to five hours. And her husband, Albert, was an electronics technician. When she was home alone at odd hours of the day or night, she sometimes felt concern. The crime rate in her neighborhood had increased and everyone in the neighborhood knew that the police response time in their area was notoriously slow. Marie wanted a way to feel less vulnerable. So working with her husband, the two began devising a home security system. One, okay, so one issue that bothered Marie was having to answer the door to identify a visitor. Soon, they had a plan for a motorized camera that was attached to a cabinet added to the door. A camera could move up and down to take views through four separate peepholes. The top spot would reveal the identity of a tall person, and the lowest would show a child. The other peepholes could capture any person between those two heights. Okay, then a television monitor was placed in the Brown's bedroom, and Albert used a radio-controlled wireless system to feed the images seen at the door back to the monitor. A two-way microphone also permitted conversation with the person at the door. So, if the homeowner was concerned about the person at the door, a button could be pushed that would send an alarm to signal a security firm, a neighborhood watchman, or if so, or if not, maybe just a nearby neighbor. But someone would come. If, however, the person at the door was a friend, a button could be pushed that would unlock the door remotely so that the visitor could come in. Woo-hoo. Okay, so like you know, anyone who's visited an apartment recently, you know units exactly like the one the Browns invented are used in multi-dwelling buildings throughout the country. Today, the technology for such a system has shrunk drastically, but the invention is just the same. The patent application was filed on August 1st, 1966, under the names of Marie Van Britten Brown and Albert Brown of Jamaica, New York. The application stated that the invention was described as a video and audio security system for a house under the control of the occupant. It said the occupant can see who is at the door. An audio system permits the occupant to converse with the person at the door. Now, in the mid-1960s, no one was creating home surveillance systems. Therefore, there's 
applying for this patent was truly going to be the first. But they gave credit where credit was due, inciting the patents that their application relied upon. The other patents, okay, so on their patent, they cited that their patent relied upon other patents. So there were three that they relied on. One was the invention of the television system. The other was an identification system. And the last one was a remotely operated control of the scanning system. Now, how about this? Today, their patent is referenced by 13 subsequent inventors who trace their own creation back to having made use of some aspect of the Brown's closed circuit system. The most recent patent that referenced their invention was in 2013. Okay, in an interview with the Times, Ms. Brown pointed out that with the patent system, a woman alone could set off an alarm immediately by pressing a button, or if the system were installed in a doctor's office, it might prevent holdups by drug addicts. The article also noted that the Browns did not yet have a manufacturer for the system, but they intended to install one in their own home and then would try to interest home and then would try to interest other home builders. Marie Van Britten Brown received an award from the National Scientists Committee for her work, but no year for the award can be identified. Of course not. And whether or not they made a profit from their invention has not been reported in the press, so we would assume maybe no. And as a black woman on her own, it would have been very difficult to sell an idea into what was totally a male business world. Marie Brown died in Queens on February 2, 1999, at the age of 76. She had two children. Now imagine that. 